Hello, my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what's coming out for your October monthly love forecast. I have separation and express your love with the past life relationship that you are dealing with. So two scenarios, some of you could be separated from the strong soul connection here. Some of you will, will be meeting a true love energy. And then we have express your love. Someone that you are in separation with will express their feelings for you. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, this could have recently ended about four weeks to four months ago. It doesn't have to be, but the fours are coming out with the four cups. So that's significant. You could, your birthday could be on the fourth or theirs as well or the tenth. All right. We have the nine of wands energy showing up here. Okay. You're kind of, you're drained. I'm getting that you're drained. You're focusing on your money. You're not really trying to focus on this person anymore. They're just super confusing. So I feel like for the month of October, you're going to make a decision in regards to an ending here or hesitate towards this new beginning with the Ten of Pentacles. You have opportunities that are in front of you, but you're just not seeing it yet. So there's some money, some finances, new job that is um, trying to come in for you for the month of October here, okay? Yeah, there's a situation. Uh, for those of you in separation, they're super conflicted in regards to speaking out. They know you're the one with the lover's energy. Gemini energy, but it's like, I just wasn't on your level, and I'm sorry. Third party interference with the three of swords energy. I'm getting, this is more so time and money and work that blocks you guys from getting together here. All right. The seven of cups energy, yeah. For some of you, you're feeling confused over how this person feels about you. Like, you know they care. You know there's emotions. You know that there's potential that things can work out because we do have true love, but it's like... I see also that there's someone new on the horizon. It could be an earth or a water sign that you're slowly talking to that this is going to be your person, All right? Separation again, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, wondering how things could have been with camera reminiscing. A lot of passion that you guys had. It's like, why can't I see you when you were in front of me? Because now it's like they see themselves marrying you, marrying you, marrying you. Wow. And um, it's, it's hard for them right now. It's like, and now I got to learn from my past mistakes. For a few of you, Aries, you know, you will be meeting your one true love, the person that you're meant to be with here. We are in a full moon in Aries uh, energy and your sign for the first two weeks of October. So let what needs to fall, fall. Whatever needs to get rebuilt, take a step back. Okay, you don't have to make a decision right away. Because things are going to kind of be lopsided for you, Aries, as you clear out this strong energy here. So the best thing that you can do is be patient with yourself and surrender. You're going through a transformation. For some of you, your love's about the deep end because this person has finally got stability in their finances and their career. And they're finally able to give you time. We have beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire on one another or qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection here. So for those of you in separation, what does your person want to say? Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're not happy with how things ended. They think about seeing you in public. They know you still have feelings for them, for some of you. And will you forgive me for being distant? Because they're sorting things out here. You have the Five of Cups, your Nine of Pentacles showing up with the Eight of Pentacles. You're content with being by yourself. Aries for the month of October. You kind of don't give a shit. Like, if this person um, figures out their life and what they want to do, that's great. If they want to share it, that's fine. But I'm going to focus on myself with self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So, you know, I do feel like you have a, you're very comfortable with this person, obviously, you know. Just to say how you feel and leave it at that. Focus on your money, your finances. Love's going to come in, okay? At the right time for you, Aries. I'm not worried about you guys. You're going to have, um, you're going to receive closure here. Receiving what you need with both. Yeah. I feel like you've been in a sus period in regards to being in your head for a few months now. So for the month of October, Aries, you're clearly over it. The frustration that you feel will subside, but you have to focus on your goals, your creativity. You know, this full moon in your sign is very strong. So with the high priestess and number two, the next, you know, two weeks here, really focus on your dreams here, okay? Your dreams need a plan is what I'm getting. Yeah, a fiery comex approaches. Look at that. Full moon and Aries want to come right out. And a new romantic cycle is beginning for you. And it's crazy because new moon in Libra is actually on October 14th. So powerful energies for you, Aries. Okay, you are aligning correctly. Okay, full moon and Aries and new moon in Libra. This hasn't happened before in a reading that um, 
both energies are showing for you for the month of October. This is a very potent and powerful time for you. With the seven of Raphael, time to make a decision. Exactly. Be clear on what you want and take action. You will recover and heal from this. And again, you're going to get everything that you asked for. Okay, Aries. So stay patient. You know, find balance within, within and outside of yourself. And you're going to be blessed. Okay, I'm not worried about you. Towards the end of October, you're going to receive everything that you need here. Okay, so take care of yourself. Drink a lot of water. Focus on your wellness. Do things to change your energy right now. Any other advice I can give? Yeah, no need to worry. That's all, Aries. I'm going to leave it here and have a wonderful week.